all use of radiation should be justified. In diagnostic imaging, this means that the benefits of radiation used should overweigh the potentially harmful effects it may have on the patient. In order to reduce overconsumption and to ensure rightful use of diagnostic imaging, it is important to have competence in assessing justification. This movie will show some examples illustrating the evaluation process, ensuring justified use. Well, David, how's it going? No, not so well. No? I still have a lot of pain in my knee. Okay. And I searched online and found that it's normal to have an MRI uh, when there's a question of osteoarthritis. I never had an MRI on my knee before, and I will need a referral for this examination. Well, you've already had X-ray images of both your knees uh, showing osteoarthritis. Okay. And based on these findings, you refer to the hospital for, for an operation. Okay. So any further examinations won't be necessary at this point. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm positive. This is okay. based on national guidelines. Okay. Huh. That sounds reasonable, actually. Yeah. Okay. And we're agreed. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Tom consults his general practitioner regarding pain in his shoulder. He is especially in pain at night and has trouble sleeping. I still have pain on my shoulder uh, and it's been like this for six weeks now. Okay, we should take a closer look at that. Yeah. Um, if you could take off your t-shirt please and I will examine you. Yeah. Okay. The general practitioner wishes to refer Tom for an x-ray of his shoulder. She knows that there are some appropriate criteria for non-traumatic muscle and skeleton conditions. She reads the guidelines and verifies that her assessment is in accordance with the criteria. If Tom's shoulder does not get better, it might be necessary to do further diagnostic examinations. The general practitioner uses the guidelines to decide which type of examination is relevant. In this case, an MRI is recommended. I've just got a referral for a child who's fallen on a trampoline. Uh, the referring physician now wants uh, pictures of the whole arm, but the patient only has a pain in his elbow. Okay. The radiologist calls the orthopedist on duty to obtain additional information. We need to know uh, what you suspect, uh, which anatomic region and uh, uh, what side uh, we should focus on. Okay, I will uh, inform the radiographer that uh, x-rays are to be taken of the right elbow searching for a fracture or a luxation. is at training camp and is injured in a biking accident. Radiographs are taken at Lillehammer Hospital. The radiographs show pelvic fracture and she is sent to her local hospital for further treatment. The treating orthopedist refers her to a new x-ray examination. Uh, you've been had a bit of an accident on your bike. Uh, we're going to take some x-rays of your pelvic area here today. One more time. What about the x-ray I did this morning in Lillehammer? Uh, there's nothing about that in the referral. I'm going to have to check that out because if those x-rays are okay and we don't need any 
extra images, then you won't be taking any x-rays here today, but I need to check that out. So if you just give me one moment. The radiographer contacts Lillehammer in order to obtain previous radiographs. The hospital apologizes for the mistake and sends the x-ray images. We have received the images taken at Lillehammer. Uh, the images uh, show a fracture in pelvic girdle and I see no need for additional images. Will you take a look at this? Yes, they look okay. I see no need for additional images. We've uh, got the pictures, the images from the other hospital and they are fine. We don't need to take any more x-rays here today. Oh. So I'm just going to send you back up to the ward again. Oh, that's fine. Thank you. It's Sunday afternoon. Elizabeth arrives at the emergency room with increasing diarrhea, dehydration, and abdominal pain. She is 25 years old and is diagnosed with Morbus Crohn. Elizabeth is received by Nina, a recently graduated physician. Nina wants to refer her to a CT scan of the small intestine. She calls the radiologist for a consultation. I see that the patient uh, has taken quite a few CT scans uh, these last years and it is likely that she will need uh, more CT scans in the future. If the symptoms are serious and you suspect illness or uh, abscess, then I will suggest uh, uh, the CT scan of the whole uh, abdomen uh, rather than the CT of uh, small intestine. This will result in uh, less uh, radiation. But if uh, the examination could be postponed until Monday, it would be even better for the patient to take an MRI. The physician informs Elizabeth about her discussion with the radiologist. Hence, she refers her for an MRI examination on Monday. This will not give any radiation dose, as well as giving sufficient information in order to answer any questions related to the diagnosis. Mary, 70 years old, is escorted by her daughter to a CT scan. We're going to take a CAT scan of your lungs and your abdomen today. Have you done that before? Yes, I have. Why does she have to take the images? My mom had the exact same scan just two weeks ago. Really? I didn't know that. Um, I'm going to have to go and confer with the radiologists. Will you just give me a moment? The radiologist calls the referring physician. The patient is being followed up for both lung and kidney cancer. The examination carried out two weeks ago covers both diagnoses and there are no changes in the clinical status of the patient. Therefore, a new examination is not necessary. But why don't you have interactive systems? Why can't you take the scan now that we're first here? You have spent the whole day getting here. The radiographer explains that the examination will not provide any additional information. It will only result in extra radiation dose. Therefore, the examination will not be performed. Diagnostic imaging must provide relevant information for further diagnostics and treatment. In order to assess the justification of diagnostic imaging, it is required that the referral include all relevant clinical information. Consult with the radiologist regarding questions about justification of diagnostic imaging. 